Hey guys, what is going on? It is Taboki here once again. It is time for another Magical Days. It is episode 5 and it is our final episode actually. I get to level 100, fourth job bishop and it is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I did this all pre-recorded um, training here. So Magical Days is coming to an end and I just want to say guys, thank you so much for you guys that stuck with me um, through this series. I know it took a little bit longer than I anticipated and uh, it, it wasn't as planned out as I would have liked it to be. Um, um, I felt like it was kind of splotchy at places just because I was really busy and there was like gaps of times where Magical Day episodes were not coming out. But I want to say guys, thanks so much for sticking with it. Um, you know, we're at the end here, level 100, and it was another glorious Maple Story series that we finished up. So you guys know the drill, uh, Magical Days. Let's talk about our last Magical Deboki story for this series. Uh, so um, this story you guys probably heard of a lot actually because I talk about it a lot on my YouTube channel. Um, it's pretty important to me but it's the day that I met Tammy my girlfriend um, it was the first day I met her and it was pretty magical I gotta say it was probably the most magical day of my life um, for you guys that don't know just really quick I met Tammy on a game called Maple Story uh, what a coincidence the game that we're playing right here right now uh, it was about seven years ago or eight years ago or so I Gosh, this time flies. Just like saying that number out loud is kind of crazy. Just such a long time ago. Um, but it was pretty while back. And uh, I met her at STDs. No, not the sexually transmitted disease, but it was um, straw training dummies. Uh, it was like level 50. Anyways, but that wasn't the meeting part. It was when she came to Colorado for the very first time to visit me. That was probably the most magical day of my life. And let me tell you guys, when you're meeting someone for the first time, like online, I don't know how many of you guys can experience that, but it's pretty nerve wracking. You know, a lot of things are going through your noggin first of all could be a 70 year old man could be a man could definitely be a man enough with the man parts but you know um but there, there's this whole sense of who is this person that's online so anyways you know i i gotta say though i kind of fell in love with tammy before i met her um so it was like kind of online relationship right and so i was kind of you know joking with my friends and family saying that well if she does become a man it seems like i fell in love with a man <laughs> You know, that's that's what it was. She did a very good job acting. But anyways, so uh, to build up to that day, to that point, she came for my birthday about May 20th, um, that week of my birthday there. And uh, I, I had my friend Lewis. And Lewis and I, we were actually, he was teaching me how to drive to the airport because the airport's a little bit far from my house. Um, it's a DIA, Denver International Airport. Uh, so <laughs> it's like a 40-minute drive from my house. So over the weekends, like, preparation he was driving with me to the airport and just like thinking back at it it was just so nerdy and funny like we would we drove like at least twice or three times which is insane to think about like spending that much time just driving <laughs> to the airport but so I was like really wanting to practice like I'm gonna drive there by myself to the airport it was back when I was like 15 or 16 so I just got my license and I was you know still new to driving a little bit driving the herd mobile I don't know I have a boob so I was like a pro at driving to the airport and uh, so that was that was pretty fun um, but the day of meeting Tammy at the airport and I remember it it was a Saturday. It was in the morning, and I was super nervous. I was, I, super nervous. I was sweating, um, and I made sure to pack like tissues in every pocket so that my palms wouldn't be so sweaty. I'd be like dampering the the tissues. It was like so gross and sweaty. But anyways, uh, enough embarrassing stories about that. But like when she came up, like there's an escalator that comes up from the terminal from the airport or the airplanes to up to the meeting grounds and I saw her and it was like it was weird because like when I saw her that was the first time I saw her in person um of course I saw pictures of her um but it was like I've seen her a lot and I like knew that person who that was because we talked so much on the phone beforehand and it was just incredible and uh you know just right away just like all that nervousness just went away and it was just like that's Tammy that's the girl that I'm in love with. And it was just, it was a magical experience. You know, there's the fountain that was going on behind me. Um, and it was just like, it's like a movie scene coming in, you know, blah, blah, blah. and then I just like trip, fall, my pants fall down and I start crying. No, it wasn't like that, but it was great. You know, and I think that was pretty incredible experience in my life. Um, and definitely, I, I think that was the most magical day definitely but anyways ladies and gentlemen i've been jabbering on for a while now i just want to say guys again thank you so much for watching this series of magical days with magic bokies here um it's been it's been fun i like i like telling you guys stories i think you guys already got that uh, almost I, lo I love just talking with you guys you guys are incredible but like always thank you so much for joining me ladies and gentlemen this has been Bokies.